Praise be to the holy name. Father, I come to you. I bow to your wisdom. I bow to you in the name of Yeshua that your will be done and not mine. That your words will be spoken and not mine. I praise you. I praise you. For you are so awesome. You are so wonderful. I praise you and I bless your holy name. For it is you and you alone. And it's not about us. It is about you. And your desires. And your will. Not us. On our understanding. For we are nothing. And we know nothing without you. I ask this blessing in the name of Yeshua. Amen. I come to you today. And I've been having a, a conversation with the... Yes, I call him a brother. He's a Muslim, but you know what? We are all human beings created in the image of God Himself. Why? You know, I, I've asked this question a lot. Not only to this gentleman, but I've asked this to many ministers and Christians and stuff and I've never come up with a satisfactory answer. Why? Why would God take a piece of dust from the earth and mold and make an image like his self? Why would he do that? What entered his mind on that day? And what caused him to breathe that breath and that spirit, that uh, putting that spirit into that form and creating a man that we have come to know as Adam? Why? He, he didn't have to. Yahweh has always had a kingdom. I have come to believe this totally. And you know, if you really think about it, he sure didn't need this mess that mankind is in. But then, we come down the line and we see a young virgin that knew no man None, possibly at all. I mean, she, it says she was a virgin. And in Isaiah, it prophesies that, that um, well, let's just go over to Isaiah. And, because it says, listen here, house of David, is trying people patient such a small thing for you that you must try to, Try the patience of my God as well. Therefore, Adonai himself will give you people a sign. The young woman will become pregnant and bear a son and name him El Emmanuel. And being interpreted, God is with us. Throughout Christian time because of the Catholic Church and it was really because of the Catholic Church having a debate over who Yeshua is and why he is what he is and and he had to be God himself come down in flash and be born and and all of this and I, I guess you know God was incapable of taking care of things because he had to pray to himself he, he prayed day and night and and at the end in the Garden of Gethsemane I guess he was praying to himself let this cup pass for me, if at all possible. 
No, I mean, if he's praying to himself, he, he didn't have to ask that. He could answer it before he asked it. But he was praying to his Father, which is in heaven, the one and only God that created all of this. So, when I have tried to ask people why why would a all-knowing a God that had everything to his advantage he knew everything he knew the outcome of everything he knew the beginning of everything so why would he have us to have to fool with to have to have to look and see that sin day in and day out and why would he bring forth a son to be born and that would have to die on a cross to become that sacrificial lamb so you and I wouldn't have to do it and we see here in John Matthew describing it a little bit he said um, but when this is in the third chapter, seventh verse. But when John saw many of the Pharisees and scribes coming to be immense baptized by him, he said to them, You snakes, who warned you to escape the coming punishment? Sign one. Coming punishment. If you have really turned from your sins to God and produced fruit, what kind of fruit? The fruit of God. That would will prove it. Then don't suppose you can comfort yourself by saying, Abraham is my father, for I tell you that Abraham rose up from God. I tell you that God can rise up from Abraham's sons from this stones. So with God is it nothing impossible so in my belief is uh, Yeshua the Son of God begotten of God yes I believe that I don't care what Christianity says I don't care what Judaism says and bless your heart when it comes to it, I don't care what the Muslims say. When it comes to Yeshua, Jesus Christ, He come to this earth and He was begotten of His Father. How? Don't judge God on men's standards because, you know, men has to go and lay with a woman to for her to conceive because the seed comes from the man as the seed come from God to into Mary. How? Was it a breath? What was it? I don't know because God don't have to do the things like man does. But he came as a sign to the Jews of them days and in 70 AD the temple was burned, Jerusalem was destroyed. Why? Because they did not accept the Son of God that was sent to them for redemption. They rejected him. And that was the punishment that they received in 70 AD and was scattered to the four winds of the earth. That doesn't say God don't love them because he does and he brought them back to his land. But I'm talking about Yeshua, Jesus Christ, the Son of God that was born, come upon this earth for a purpose to speak his father's words to say them exactly the way the father wanted him to say them to do the deeds that his father wanted him to do exactly that Yeshua did not do anything on his own he did everything and he fulfilled, followed, not fulfilled, but followed every commandment, every law, everything that his father had set down from the beginning. He did it. The one things that none of the Jews could ever do 
with all their, their temples and temple sacrifices and everything that they did according to the laws, they always fell. Why? Because they were human beings. Yeshua didn't fail, fall because he was the Son of God, and he come here with a purpose and a plan to do the will of the Father. There's only one time he asked to be out of it, and that was at the garden, because he really, 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 if there would have been any other way, he would have took it. But the Father said, no, you have to be that sacrificial lamb. If you're not, they are. People say, no, God's not like that. Yes. Let's put it this way. Those that feel led that they can strap on a bomb and, and blow up a whole bunch of people and become martyrs and go to heaven. If you feel that God would ask you to do that, then how would you not know and believe that God would ask his own son to do the same thing? It's almost the same difference. I, I, I know it's a question. I have a thousand and one questions. Why would God even need us in the littlest form? He doesn't. He doesn't need us. He didn't need his son to attend to his affairs, but he needed his son to fulfill a plan that he set forth way back there whenever. See, it's all about God's will, not our will. It's all about God and having the faith in Him knowing that what He did and what He is doing right now today is coming forth. Look at Egypt. It's all prophesied in the Bible. Go to the Bible and read it. Everything that has happened from day one till today and past is in the Bible. It's prophesied. God already knows the beginning and the end of all things. He doesn't need one human being or one thing taking care of his affairs because he can take care of his affairs, every bit of it. He doesn't need help. But he chose to make a plan. And in doing this choosing and planning, he set certain things on course to be fulfilled. And he set a stumbling block mostly to the Jews but it turns out stumbling block to the whole world about Jesus being his son. It caused the Jewish nation to fall and be destroyed in 70 AD because they refused to accept what God had always told them all along that was going to happen. Why are we coming to the ends of times like it is? Because we fail to recognize who Yeshua, Jesus Christ is, that he is the Son of God. Uh, God has set him up as the high priest, like unto the order of the Sajah, boy, I can't even say that priest's name, Mesozadek priesthood. God can do anything He wants to, when He wants to, and how He wants to. He does not have to ask us any questions. Why? Or how? Or should I? He is God. He is Yahweh. He can do anything He wants to, when He wants to do it. And He don't need advisors. He doesn't need help. He doesn't need anything. So He really doesn't need us. But he chose to do this. And he loves us because we are his creation. You can bend it any way you want to, but Jesus is the Son of God. He is a high priest. He is fulfilling. He earned the right to sit at the right hand of God the Father. He earned that right when he died on the cross. You can t say anything you want to say about the cross, but he died on the cross. And in three days, he come back to life. Three days, he come back to life. Why? To give us life. So, we are in the end times. We must believe in the Yeshua, Jesus Christ. Oh, Father, let that blood pour out upon these people in the name of 